Fat Chow was always good for getting hardware, though he mostly provided for the triads and Yakuza, exactly the guys you don't want to have it. But right now, I didn't care, so long as he could hook me up with something powerful. Wherever you find Fat Chow, trouble's never too far behind. He's one of those wannabe triads, but he's as slimy as they come. Frankly, I don't even think he's Asian. And what do we have here? A little payoff? Jack Slade! Gun down now! Walked in like he owned the place, which suggested he probably did. Eight bucks said I'd find ballistic merchandise inside. Well, 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 what sort of illegal gambling den do we have here? Chow, we need to chat. Jack Slade! There's a bounty for him, dead or alive! Better if he's dead! God. 
You know a guy named Silk? Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, he hang out at Black Orchid a lot. I, I, what do you want? Why do you do this to me? Hey, I just wanted to buy a gun. But I got plenty now, thanks. You call the cops? You crazy? I just call for backup. Cops show up on their own. It's time to get out. I don't want to start shooting cops. He's just doing his job. Freeze, Slate! Drop it! Call for backup! Looks like Chow called for backup. Can't let the cops spot me or it's back to old Sparky. Call for backup! Where to? Black Orchid. So this guy Silt practically lived at this massage parlor. Time to find out why he tried to run me down. Welcome. Please, may I take your coat? I'll hang on to it, thanks. I'm looking for Marvin Silt. I hear he comes here a lot. Yes, please. This way. Hey, hand over the iron. I'm gonna want this back. Something smelled fishy, and it wasn't the sushi bar. They escorted me to a room and told me to sit tight, but I didn't have time for that. I had to find Silt. This way. These goons aren't going to make finding Silt any easier.
I'm gonna need to get my guns back first. Oh god. Oh. Hey horse, I'd like my iron back if you haven't already sold it. Is that it? I want to know who hired you to run me down outside the prison. What, that? That wasn't nothing personal, man. I was told that if anyone other than Tattoo popped out of that pipe, to give him the run over. You was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, mate! Well, seeing as how I got your car, your phone, and your wallet, I'd say I was at the right place at the right time. Who gave you those instructions? A guy named Gopher. Said he was working for some... Jack Slade, I presume. Oh. You can relax. I was only after Silt. Yeah, well, so was I, but I wasn't done with him yet. Sorry, had to be done. You want to point that somewhere else? You want to tell me why you killed Silt? Just settling a score. Somebody from Mayhem Inc. killed my brother, and I aim to put things right. Mayhem Inc.? What, that Assassin's Guild out of Broadway? That's the one. Figure if I kill them all, I'll eventually get the guy who snuffed my brother through a process of elimination. What about you? What's your beef with Baldy here? I'm trying to find a hit or two. You know of a guy about this tall, one eye, dresses kind of frilly, carries a gold luger? Gold luger? Sounds like Patch, one of the Mayhem bosses. Thinks he's some kind of designer killer or performance artist. Real expensive, and real hard to find. Yo, uh, what say we find someplace quieter? This chick's my only lead, I gotta keep her alive. Heads up, Jack. More thugs just pulled into the parking lot. Come on, tough guy. Well, that's pretty unorthodox for a hostess, don't you think? What the hit girl needs my help. The place was surrounded by triad goons, courtesy of Fat Chow and his friends. He sure liked to carry a grudge, but they say, an elephant never forgets. Alright, once we make it out of here, hang a right and head down the street. I'll cover your back. Cool being touch out. needs my help.
hell are you? I need cover over here! Nice outfit, Chow. Think fast, Jack. But I go with the double X next time. Sometime. Maybe we can do it again. You mean like a date? Hey, if shooting bad guys is your idea of a date, then yeah, like a date. <laughs> Eve Adams? That can't be your real name. And just like that, she was gone. Not the first time a woman like that has sparked my interest and run out on me, but I couldn't let myself get distracted. I had a grave to visit. My father's.